We recently renovated our laundry room, and when we did that, I got a new laundry duct and, or I say laundry, it's a dryer duct that connects behind our dryer. And I cleaned out the lint and all that. And I've even taken my shop back and shoved it down into the duct and tried to clean out all of the lint and everything that was built up. I even, you know, when we open this up and we clear out this little filter, I even shoved the uh, vacuum here and Ashley is silently saying she did it. But anyways, one of us did it. Excuse me for not giving you credit. Anyways, we were cleaning the lint out. Because we keep getting a code on here when Ashley is doing some drying, and it's starting to get frustrating. Not as frustrating for me, more for Ashley because she's the one who does the laundry. And now she's threatening me saying, if our house catches on fire, you're going to be the one to blame. And I'm thinking, if our house catches on fire, are you really going to be blaming somebody for this? But she probably will. <laughs> so let's hope that our house doesn't catch on fire. And one way to not allow that to happen is... I did some Google research. I got it from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember where I got it Home from. Depot. I think it was Home Depot. But it was only about 20 bucks. And what I can do is I can attach all these together. Sorry, my son is throwing stuff at me and doing all kinds of stuff. Ryder, quit, bud. Ryder, chill out, bud. <laughs> really. But this extends up to eight feet, and I can attach it to my drill, and I'm going to shove it into the duct system here and hopefully it's going to unclog all the lint because I'm assuming that's where the clog is and that's why we're getting the um, little error message or the code. Um, I also got a little extender thing because the tubing that I got is very hard to attach to my particular uh, laundry duct here and so I just got some other materials. So hopefully it works. We're going to show you what the end result is. I'm assuming there's going to be a whole lot of lint down there, but we'll take a look and see. This is about eight feet in length, and now all I really got to do is just shove it down into the duct. And you can do this by hand because it says that you can, so I'm assuming the package is telling the truth. So you can use it by hand, but also I can attach this end right here to my drill and that will help with the turning and probably loosening up some of the lint that's uh, built up in there. So we're gonna try it out, see what happens. Does it feel like anything's like clogged? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I mean, it is just lint and I'm sure it's not a full clog or anything like that. So. Okay, let's see. Let me see my drill. Where's the end? Wow. There's some lint. There's a little bit. A little bit? What are you expecting? I mean... You expecting like a gigantic clog? Well, I mean, it's giving that message. Ah. Uh -huh. Ooh, smells like laundry detergent up in this place. Well, good, because just a minute ago you said it smelled like pee diapers. It did. Whoa. Yeah, I think the big thing is going to be it's loosening it up. It's not really gonna pull it up. And then when I stick my vacuum down there, it'll suck all the lint and stuff up. So before I actually stick my vacuum down there and start vacuuming it out, I'll empty it completely out. So there'll be nothing in my vacuum. And then I'll vacuum it, this out and we'll get a good idea of how much lint's in there. Yes, that sounds like a plan. All right. <laughs> that sounded like it caught something up. Wow, that sounded pretty bad. Right 
was. What if it's an animal? Oh my god. Oh, the hope that's dirty. We're gonna clean that tubing. So, I shoved it all the way down there and something definitely got caught in it. Um, and after I looked at it, it was just a whole bunch of lint basically kind of clogged up uh, in the entry of my vacuum. So we're gonna go back in, vacuum a little more. I'll slowly bring it up and then we'll see the final results of how much lint was actually in this duct. Okay, so I'm done vacuuming. I went in there twice and hopefully it vacuumed out a good portion of the lint. We're about to reveal what came out of our duct. It might be disappointing or it might be very satisfying. We'll see. So... Uh, I don't really know what I was expecting. That is a lot of lint. That I will say that. And there's a whole lot on my filter uh, right here, too. But basically, all of this lint... I mean, that right there is a whole lot. All this lint came from inside the duct. And I'm assuming that's why we're getting the code. So, uh, it actually did work out pretty well. I do need to check the outside of um, our house where the duct comes out. Just because, um, in yeah. case there's a bird's nest or something like that. Because that has happened. That, yes, that has happened. But hopefully this fixed the issue. This there's is a lot a on this side. whole bunch of lint. And it seems like that tool that I used definitely loosened up all of the uh, lint that was in there. But there we go. And now I just got to put it all back together and hopefully we don't get any more codes. Good job, babe. Good job. Sometimes you're trying to make a video and you're thinking everything's going to work out great. And it doesn't. This is one of those cases. So we got this little duct cleaner that was about eight feet in length. And I shoved it down into the laundry duct and we cleaned out a whole bunch of lint. But it apparently didn't do all the job because my wife started to do some laundry and as she was drying she got that code again so what I did was went outside and the vent on the outside we could see a little bit of pine straw in there so I'm guessing that a bird tried to make a nest in there and it's been in there so I'm hoping maybe that's what's clogging it up um, so that will fix the issue problem is I only had eight feet of this tubing, so I had to get an extra 12 feet of the tubing, which for you math experts out there, that's 20 feet, which extends from here all the way to the outside. And you might be asking, well, why didn't you just go from the outside and do it? Because we're on the second level of our house and also that part of our house is very uneven. So it's either, Spend about 15 bucks on 12 extra feet of this piping and go from the inside out or risk my life <laughs> and get on a ladder outside in hopes that I can stay balanced and stay upright and clean it from the outside. So I don't want to risk my life. So I'm going from in here and hopefully uh, that will fix the issue and solve the problem. We'll find out. Do you want me to come in and show you what it looks like? Hey, I'm coming outside. He had to come out and look because it's not coming out. So he had to come see for herself. Uh, yeah. I said you need to get a ladder and come up here. So what do you think? I think that's what's clogging it. I think, I think you're right.
<laughs> Are you getting mommy too? Because it's falling in the Oh God. It's just hanging. Did that do anything? It's just hanging. I mean, it's out, but it's hanging. It needs another push. Anything? It's clogged again. Of course it is. Try pushing it again. Oh yeah, try it. keep going, keep going, keep going. Do it one more time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it did, but it's hanging. Huh? Like, shake it. There we go. Now shake it again. Yep, keep doing it. Okay, now, yep. Now I would go back in and pull it back out one more time. There's still a little bit left. I would do it one more time and I think you're good. Yeah, I think you're good. I think you got it all. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us clear out our laundry duct. And as you can tell, that it wasn't just a little bit of lint that was in there. There was some pine straw and it was pretty clogged up. But I was able to clear out the entire duct. And you can see all of the clog right here in the mulch. But... Uh, now Ashley can get her dryer back and she can do all the laundry her heart desires. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button uh, if you haven't already. Also, if you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. We appreciate everybody for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. We'll see you in the next video. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Oh